Hello viewers and welcome to a brand new episode of Battle Group Skunk Works, a series that talks about the various strengths and weaknesses of battle group formations you can use in Lancer Battle Group. Basically, it's Lancer Custom Works but for Battle Group, but with how Battle Group building system works, just pinning it down by ship is gonna be difficult, which is why for now each episode will be dedicated to one specific flagship, and in this episode, Muri. Muri, you could say it's the jack of all trade battleship in Lancer Battle Group, the one option you can't really go wrong with because it has no weakness, and its singular trait, Paragon, lets it add accuracy to any D20 roll. The most obvious usage of this trait is to make your attack more accurate, but it can also work against things like boarding rolls to kick out borders effectively, making the Muri an excellent anti-boarding battleship, and an addition of Minokawa can make things even worse for the borders. Anyway, I have received a total of 12 builds for this starting episode, which sounds small compared to what I usually get for the custom work series, but this is sufficient for a start as I will be explaining a bunch of basics. Also the reason why there's so few Muri builds is because due to how battle group combat and advancement work, people are drawn more towards specialized designs, or they just want a lot of firepower. Now, let's get going with the first build called Battle Group Every Ship Rifleman, a battle group designed to start with aggressive posture, dives to range 2 with subaltern combat crew, and just go all ahead full to range 1 with conical projector blasting everywhere, this happens in turn 1. In all the following turn, you are just trying to stay there and keep firing the projector, which is very painful at close range, screening combo from Farragut and Superior can probably keep the battle group alive long enough for everything else to be dead, and there's enough gun redundancy that losing a couple ships won't hurt your overall firepower. Also, there's a pair of PKB, primary kinetic batteries, in case you can't get closer and still want to hurt something. Battle Group The Unqualified is a very standard battle group with plenty of reliable PKB, but it also comes with a very annoying combo of Barbarossa and Houston, Barbo because it has the Apocalypse Rail, and Houston so the Apocalypse Rail can reload faster and fire possibly three times in a six round battle, the Tajits plus Legion drones can also keep the Barba alive longer while letting it does more damage. Or you can just get Amazon instead of that so if the Barba does die, you can just fully repair it again, only problem is, this build, like any carrier focused builds, wants to stay at range 3 to 0, so if it gets pushed out, that's a problem. Battle Group GMS Special Project 3, Psychic Warfare, is as painful as it sounds, due to its focus on boarding with Marine and Pipe Cleaner, which by the way, also involves a D20, so Muri is both an anti-boarding and boarding battleship, as well as having Legion Space Schism, both combined can cause quite a huge problem for enemies focused on payload and charge weapons, which means less damage to your allies despite less damage to the enemies too. Boarding units are also separated to two carriers, so if one is out, you can still board. Also, there's an ace squadron, that has jettison ram for really painful boarding, ship killer for some serious ship killing damage, and NHP co-pilot for more tactics, which ace uses, that's gonna hurt, keep these lancers alive and they will bring in kills worth millions times their own tonnage. Battle Group Bingus is another battle group that likes to get close to blast with the conical projector, which with a Tolumnia, is going to hurt a lot more than usual, and Muri's Paragon trait can counter the difficulty dice too, and if you are wondering where to get that lock on, you have a Caspian Sea that hands it out for free when screening. Anyone that tries to push you out will find that you having insightful commander is going to make things very painful for them, and with how much this battle group likes close range, having aggressive commander might helps, as long as you don't take too many hits. Triple primary, plus extra firepower from secondary turrets and destroyer escorts, might just be enough to mission kill something every turn, there's even a pair of flies water in case you need some wings down fast. Next is, the Joestar family secret battle group, I really should have expected this joke coming, is a battle group designed to be really beginner friendly by making sure that you have so much accuracy, you are never missing. This starts with the Muri, Sublin Pickets, and Insightful Commander if you get moved around, this basically lets you fire the heavy kinetic batteries with accuracy every turn, with subjective syzygy so that if an enemy crit you, no they didn't. The superior peers can easily keep the Muri alive with both their traits and systems, while the Tawa, well, it causes the Ace Squadron to have 15 tenacity, which means they are almost impossible to get rid of, you can basically just set the squadron loose like a crate full of geese and just forget about it. Battle Group Big Gun is another very practical battle group, just get all the accuracy from Muri and Subline Picket, and just keep shooting the heavy primary batteries with accuracy until something falls apart. You will want to stay between range 4 to 1, 
so if you got out of that range band, use destroyer encirclement tactic or emergency maneuver to get out of it. You also have brace for impact and shield projector, reducing the amount of damage that might comes your way, and even if you lose one of your frigates, you will still have 100% firepower. Now, you have seen 6 battle groups with a Muri flagship, and all of them have a very dramatic difference in how they utilize its trait for maximum effectiveness, but all of these battle groups actually have one thing in common, they all have long cycle primary lance, a very reliable super heavy, which is also just free, which is why the next battle group is gonna be a bit different, because battle group 3 strikes your outcomes with a near light kill pack, which, with a huge down, means that you can potentially fire it 3 times in 6 rounds, and that's a lot of damage, however, most people would want the Muri to have Bloodthirsty Legacy as an advancement first before mounting it because it means the NKP can crit, doubling its damage and making it even more viable, as Muri can easily throw all the accuracy on it to make it crit very often. The turn order is this, have the Caspian Sea screen the Hughes down because you will want it alive, lock onto the target for more accuracy, and fire, you also have Onaportum and Veteran Cruise just to make sure you really hit the target, and the sheer damage means that you might just kill a battle group clean through on round 2, but you will be spending half of your actions just to make sure the NKP can fire properly. Battle Group Multitude of Sins is a range 3 gunline battle group that comes with a 3x3 short spool cannon, basically, just fire the PKB to charge up the super heavy, and then unleash it with accuracy from Muri to hopefully crit and break something in half, you also have a Pyron with extended range legion drones and bomber wings that can soften up targets with tactics too, and when enemy battle group drags you in, you have a conical projector. Battle Group Human Fighter, what in the world is this name? is a very generic battle group that doesn't excel in doing anything but this means it works in every scenario, it can board, it can shoot, and it can survive well with frigate screening or shield projector, it just works. The last three builds have, no battle group name for some reasons, but anyway, here's a battle group that's just packed with charge guns, and probably the number one mistake build that all new battle group players will do at one point, because on one hand, the 2 Creighton here with Spinal Coherent Beam Cannon means that you get free damage every 2 turn if you stay at range 4, on the other hand, it also means you barely have anything to do besides waiting for them to fire. But, that does mean that your maneuver action is free to be used to move your ship when you inevitably get moved by the GM because you are in a charge gun build. Adding more to this, there's Harbinger Laser for more damage when the charge count goes down, power distribution system to fire the big spinal pedigel kinetic earlier, and Legion Space Coordinator in case you didn't get moved so you hand your maneuver to your allies instead. All in all, this is an okay build that everyone will make one time, maybe more, and then just never again because it's kinda boring. Next battle group, this one just has Sublin Picket and Muri for all the accuracy when it fires the heavy kinetic batteries, and when the primary lance charge up, the dual Harbinger laser will deal 4 damage for free every turn, which can add up quite quickly, and using a Pyron with Barbarossa is quite interesting, because this means the Apocalypse Rail can hit something hard at range 4, which can be very devastating. And for the last build, this battle group, other than the Muri flagship that can take a beating, also comes with a Masawu that can just throw all the boarding units around like crazy, making sure that almost every single enemy battle group will get boarded at some point, which can be very painful for them. This battle group also comes with two superiors, just to make sure the battleship and carrier don't die too early in a match. All in all, a simple and effective build. And that's all 12 Muri battle groups finished reviewing, though the Muri might seems quite boring compared to other more exciting options, it is certainly a very reliable battleship that a new player can pick up and use quite easily, and I highly recommend you to try it at least once for the basic. Anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.